A swang is an umbrella term for various shape-shifting evil creatures in Filipino folklore such as vampires, ghouls, witches, viscera suckers, and transforming human-beast hybrids usually dogs, cats, pigs. The aswang is the subject of a wide variety of myths, stories, arts and films as it is well known throughout the Philippines. One Spanish colonist noted that the aswang was the most feared among the mythical creatures of the Philippines, even in the 16th century too although with no specific motive other than harming others, their behavior can be interpreted as an inversion of the traditional Filipinos' values. The aswang is especially popular in southern parts of Luzon and some parts of Mindanao and Visayas, especially the Visayan province of Capiz. The sixth was called Silagan whose office it was if they saw anyone clothed in white to tear out his liver and eat it, thus causing his death. This, like the preceding, was in the island of Catanduanes. Let no one moreover consider this a fable because in Carlovan they tore out in this way through the anus all the intestines of a Spanish notary, who was buried in Calilea by Father Fray Juan de Morida. The seventh was called Mananangal and his purpose was to show himself at night to many persons, without his head or entrails. In such wise the devil walked about and carried, or pretended to carry his head to different places, and in the morning returned it to his body remaining as before alive. This seems to me to be a fable, although the natives affirm that they have seen it because the devil probably caused them so to believe. This occurred in Catanduanes. The eighth they called Oswang, which is equivalent to sorcerer they say that they have seen him fly and that he murdered men and ate their flesh. This was among the Visayas Islands, among the Tagalos these did not exist. Fr. Juan de Placentia Customs of the Tagalogs 1589-3 According to Maximo Ramos, the term aswang can be thought of as an aggregate term for a multitude of Filipino supernatural creatures. These creatures can be organized into five categories that parallel creatures from Western traditions. These categories are the vampire, the self-segmenting viscera sucker, the Werdog the Witch and the Ghoul Dot the Vampire. Edit. The Vampire Swang disguises itself in the shape of a beautiful woman. It shares its diet of blood with vampires of Western cultures. However, it differs by sucking blood using a proboscis like tongue, rather than sharpened teeth. Furthermore, a Swang do not live in tombs. Some live in forests far from human communities. But the aswang can infiltrate human society by means of marrying into a community and either slowly draining their husband of blood, or else using it strictly as a hideout and leaving at night to raid other villages thereby keeping their cover intact. Five. One example of a vampire aswang is the Tagalog Manjurugo, said to live in the region of Capiz. The Viscera Sucker. Edit. The viscera sucker, also known as Mananangal, is said to have a diet of internal organs, or the phlegmatic discharge of the sick. Like the vampire swang, it consumes its food with its tongue, narrow and tubular, but not pointed like the vampire. By day it takes the shape of an attractive, light-skinned, and long-haired woman. By night, it grows wings and segments itself leaving behind its body from the waist downwards. It takes great care to hide its lower half, then flies in searches for victims. It is particularly attracted to the fetuses growing inside pregnant women. Viscera suckers are said to live in domiciles deep in the jungle, if not the trees themselves. But like the vampire swang, most infiltrate human communities via marriage 7 the Werdog. Edit. Maximo Ramos refers to this category as the Werdog, though the creature does not necessarily transform into a dog. Ramos reasons that the work creature of a given region is named after their most ferocious creature. As such, for example, Europe has werewolves, India has wertages, Africa has were leopards and Russia has were bears. The Philippines has no indigenous wolf population thus making werdog the more appropriate term eight like the previous aswang the werdog infiltrates villages and turns into a creature by night around midnight.
The creature is most commonly a dog, but a cat or pig is also possible. The word dog then kills and eats people, particularly pregnant women on the road in the night, and do not let their long hair hang loose. Doing so is said to protect against these aswang. The word dog is said to develop a taste for human flesh by eating food spat on or licked by another word dog. The same is said of the viscera sucker. Unlike the previous aswang, the word dog does not infiltrate human communities through marriage, but as a traveler of some sort, such as a peddler or a construction laborer. The witch. Edit. See also Kulam. Which aswang are characterized by extreme vindictiveness, laying curses upon those who have crossed her by making certain objects, such as rice, bones, or insects, come out of the bodily orifices of the cursed. Witches have eyes that reflect images upside down, as well as elongated irises. They live in the outskirts of towns and villages. Ten witches in the Philippines are feared, avoided, and hated. Witches can become a swang only if they have certain qualities that follow an a swang already. Then they can become an a swang, and by doing so, their powers become stronger, stronger than the other witches as well. If an aswang is caught, they are to be immediately killed without question. Though with witches there is just complete avoidance by the people and people around them regard them with fear. Though if an incident were to happen near the witch's residence, then there is reason to turn to the witch to blame and punish. Dr. Aswang are described as humanoid but generally hidden. Their diet consists of human corpses, they are carrion eaters. Their nails and teeth are sharp and strong to help with the theft and consumption of the corpses. Their diet makes them smell rank and pungent. They gather in trees near cemeteries to exhume and consume the fresher swan commonly dwell at night in locations such as cemeteries and woods as their powers are significantly or sometimes totally reduced during the daytime. 13 however, despite being described as wild monsters that often live in the wilderness and outskirts of society, swang are also described as creatures that are capable of living within close proximity of or even within the confines of a village leading to several reports of a swang attacks within large, populated towns and cities. Their ability to adapt and live within the urban and rural environments populated by humans while still maintaining their feral, monstrous nature is cited as a feature that distinguishes a swang from most other monsters. Thirteen a swang also generally have a fear of light. Wakes were often brightly L. It to ensure that a swang would not come to the funeral to steal and devour the corpse. They also have a disdain for noise, but rare occasions describe a swang attending noisy parties. 13. A swang are traditionally described as one dimensional monsters and inherently evil by nature, with no explicable motives beyond harming and devouring other creatures. Their overtly evil behavior may be described as an inversion of traditional Filipino values. 14 traditional aswang have no bias when selecting their prey and will not hesitate to target their own kin, an inversion of the traditional Filipino value of strong kinship and family closeness. Aswang are described to be unclean and favor raw human meat to the food found in traditional Filipino culture. The aswang are also often described to be lewd in behavior with female aswang often exposing their genitals to contrast values of traditional modesty. Countermeasures. Edit. There are several remedies and countermeasures to drive away or slay a swang. The different countermeasures often vary depending on the cultural and symbolic significance of each tool. Holy objects, spices, salt ash, the tail of a stingray, large crustaceans, vinegar, beetle nut chew, and urine are all listed as tools for protection against a swang. The reversal of a ladder leading to the house was also said to be a countermeasure against a swang 13. Because a swang were believed to be the cause of miscarriages, countermeasures raised to drive a swang away and prevent them from prowling during childbirth were developed.
One method is for the husband of the child bearing wife to remain under the house naked while furiously waving a sword. 15 sharp sticks or bolos should be inserted between the bamboos of the house floor to prevent a swang from lurking under the house. Additionally, sick people should not stay in houses with holes and are told not to groan in order not to attract a swang. 16. There is also a special anti swang oil that can be developed. 16 to make this oil. Select a particular coconut and watch it grow. Pick it at twilight during a full moon. When it is wet and gloomy, the breeze should also be chilly. The coconut should be grated and its juice must be squeezed out. Boil the mixture until it becomes oil. Recite secret prayers and throw all the waste into the ocean so that a swan cannot trace whoever made the oil. Once complete, the oil should be hung at the door of the house. It will boil when a swang is near. There are other methods of detecting a swang without the use of the special oil. Scratching noises heard from the ceiling of a house is often a sign of a nearby swang. A swang in disguise can be detected by seeing if your reflection in the creature's eye is inverted. 17 Additionally, dogs, cats, and pigs with no tails are said to be a swang in disguise. During holy masses, a swang will also attempt to dodge the blessing. 16. To kill a witch, a swang, a bolo knife can be used to strike the middle of the witch's back. If that area is not struck, the witch can lick its wounds to heal its injuries. After slaying in a swang with a bolo, the bolo must be planted under the ground. Firearms are not advised for killing a swang, and it is useless to stab and slash at an a swang while it is in the form of an animal. Magic prayers can be used to make the a swang vulnerable, while it is in this helpless state its body must be cut into pieces. If the aswang is cut into two pieces, each piece must be separated and taken to opposite river banks. Because of the archipelagic geography of the Philippines and the primarily oral mode of inheriting and imparting narratives from the past for preservation or didactic purposes, stories about the aswang have evolved and adapted according to the locality in question for. The Aswang was born out of Philippine folklore with stories of this terrifying creature dating back to at least the 16th century, when Spanish explorers created the first written record of the monster. The explorers noted that of all the monsters in their folklore, the Aswang was the most feared by native people. 18. One of the most famous origins of the term Aswang came from the Aswang tradition in the Baikal region. During the 16th century, 19, the Baikalanos believed in the god named Dugorang, who was the good god that acted as the beneficent of their region, the defender and guardian of their homes, and their protector against the evil of the god Aswang. The god Aswang, however, was the evil god and rival who attempted to always cause harm to Gugarang and found pleasure in doing so. Gugarang was always praised by the Baikonos and Aswang shunned and cursed. However, in another story, Gugarang is portrayed as a fire-wielding god who, if displeased with the humans, would cause Mountain Mayan to erupt. 20. The Aswang had no control over the people and became jealous of Gugarang's power. As the Aswang begged for Gugarang's fire, Gugarang felt that the Aswang was only trying to have fire to win the favor of the people, and the two began to argue for centuries. But the Aswang was able to steal fire by turning himself invisible and hiding the fire in a coconut shell. However, the Aswang was unable to control the power and caused the entire world to catch flames. Yugarang followed the flames which led him to the Aswang and took the fire back. He called the gods to help him put out the fire with rain and take revenge on the Aswang by making thunder and lightning to strike the mountains. The act brought upon all the evils and destruction in the land, which the people had never forgotten the Aswang for dot. Aswang are most commonly associated with the province of Capiz, which lies on the island of Panay at the western Visayas region. 21 So much so that Capiz has come to be dubbed as the creature's hometown. 22 In an April 29, 2019 documentary of Kapasomo, Jessica Soho, K and J.S. Aswang are also allegedly cited in Himalayan, Negros Occidental, 
which also lies at Western Visayas, where several residents have been reportedly terrorized by the appearance of the Aswang at night 23. The KMJS team tried to substantiate the residents' claim by installing cameras to capture the alleged creature, but to no avail 23. From the lens of social anthropology, what inspired the legends of the Aswang can be traced back to two possible sources, the behavior of the wildlife within the region, and the prominence of X-linked dystonia Parkinsonism within the region.